everybody, I'm Sierra from Sierra Series, and welcome back to The Sims 4. Today, guys, I have actually just gone back to the game, and it's been a while, and I know it's been a while, guys, but I just now got back to the game, and we were back where we left off. My current household, which is the Goth family, um, I'm here with Alexander Goth and Candy Bear, so... Yes, we're past where we left off. Um, you could say that I've actually not updated my game so far, so this is where we left off. Basically, um, well, actually, our sins were in bed, and right now, Sergio, as I said before, Sergio and Cassandra Goth are now in a relationship, and um. He's going to sleep with her constantly. Like I said, Cassandra is the local whore of the town, and Alexander is having a girlfriend. Like I said, Alexander has a thing for his sister Cassandra, but Candy will officially become his girlfriend. So, yeah. Right now, it's just normal stuff. Um, Candy's come over, and we're probably going to have her and... Um, out and there's not gonna be any really like interesting things happening except for the fact we're gonna continue with the story alexander is going to stay with candy and candy's gonna move in eventually so eventually we're gonna have candy move in so yeah okay so candy we're gonna have to leave may ask you to leave and Sergio, you're done for today with Cassandra. And Cassandra is going to come down here. Sorry, guys. I would censor that out, but I don't know how. Um, dress up. And you too, Cassandra. And while we're doing that, Alexander is going to since they're all hungry and Cassandra's gonna come down here and flirt with um, Wolfgang Munch who's a teenager like I said local whorehouse and into all that so Sergio is just now cleaned up and well I want him to take a shower first take a thoughtful shower and have him take a uh, sleep for a while. I was going to take a nap, but I want um, Cassandra to like um, come down here and flirt for a while. I know I was going to say Sergio is going to like, he's the one going to get her knocked up. But um, Cassandra is going to be the one to come down here and be the whore of the house. She's the one who's like getting, she's not getting any money out of this, guys. I don't, I don't have the prostitution mod. Because, well, I don't want my sons to be prostitutes, and I want Cassandra to, like, get laid all the time, and, like, so, I know he's a teenager, but, like I said, teenagers are horny at the age, and, like, I'm gonna have Cassandra, like, get laid all the time by literally any man who comes nearby. This guy was originally supposed to be for, I think it was supposed to be for, yep. This is for her brother Alexander, and I know it's weird to have your sister love your brother, and that's probably weird in real life, but like I said, this is not real life, this is fake, and this is The Sims. Now, while we're here, we're going to talk about Sims, and while we're getting to the rest of the story, I'm just gonna have Cassandra like flirt with this guy for a while, and then soon enough she's gonna like come up here and sleep with him. Let's see. He usually goes by quick in this game. This game, so yeah. But let's talk about Sims, guys. I know I've been like literally not uploading as much as lately, but I have been like um. But I'm just trying to like um get to uploading as fast as I can. And I know I haven't been uploading lately, and that's because, literally, I've been just 
constantly doing other things and I literally get distracted from YouTube all the time so that's why I've been having uploading lately and that, 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 that's stupid I think about it like all the time so yeah I can see why everybody like is probably gonna be mad at me like not uploading as much so yeah and you're probably wondering I just like have these romantic traits I like my sims the most I really do and I just really like want my sims to have fun. But most of all, I like really just like um I like playing the sims. I mean, it's a really like calm, relaxing game. You can just play with your, like your friends. Well, mostly online. You can play with your friends online. But most of all, the sims like relaxes you, keeps you like at bay and like keeps you happy and all that stuff. And most of all, I just want, like, my sims to have, like, fun and all that stuff, and I really forgot how to, like, censor all this stuff out, but, um, like I said, not a professional YouTuber here, and I wouldn't expect to be a professional, because, like I said, most people are not professionals, and, 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 and censor stuff out. Then again, if you're smart enough, you know how to censor stuff out, you literally know how to. So, yeah. Now let's see what Alexander's up to while they're doing that. But like I said, like, um, oh, he's eating. Okay, so that's not fine. It's all right. But like I said, I just like playing Sims because I just relax to this. But I also like, um, I just want to like upload more. And most of you guys say like, oh, yes, YouTubers upload every single day. <laughs> I don't upload it every day, okay? I'm not a YouTuber, and I haven't seen one inch of monetization money in what it seems like forever. I care about you guys, and I really do. I want you all to, like, take polls on my Twitter, and, like, um... I want you guys to take polls on my Twitter, and, like, keep um, updating me on what you want me to, like, theorize on, because I'll go back to theory soon. And also, I just, like, want to, um, sorry, guys, again, cannot censor it out, but then again, I just, like, want you guys to, like, pull me in. I will go back to doing theories eventually, but I still want to play The Sims, or why, 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 why. keep playing Sims as long as you guys want me to, but I'll also, like, um, I also want to go back to doing, like, theories, so they have some theories for Avengers Infinity War that I actually wanted to do. I wanted to do, like, the week that it came out, but, um, I couldn't because I didn't want to spoil it for you guys. And I didn't want to be one of those YouTubers, like, spoilers, spoilers all over the place. But I wanted it to be spoil-free. So since it came out, like, two weeks ago, like I said I was going to do, um, two weeks from now, which is now, right now, I said I was going to do a theory about the theory I had about the end of Infinity War. So I will do that later on, maybe this afternoon now, before any other YouTuber does it. So yeah, um, I will go back doing theories, guys. Don't get me wrong. And I want you guys to like re watch my videos more. I really want to. <laughs> Freaking film theory. I mean, film theory, their one theory of theirs was incorrect. So Matt Pat, I'm calling you out. But most of all, just want to actually be recognized. And I also just want to, like, do, have my theories, like, confirmed. And, like, I want to be, like, sponsored, monetized. That's all I want. I want to actually have YouTube as a job. But, unfortunately, they're not monetizing me because they just had to change the rules all of a sudden just because of one video by Logan Paul. Thank you. You vloggers, thank you, Logan Paul, the big time themselves. The big time YouTubers are the ones who get us in most trouble, and they're the ones who got smaller channels like me and many of you guys in trouble. I don't know how, like, other people get their job done. I'm not an editing person. I'm not a full-time editing person, guys. I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to edit stuff. I'm not good at editing, and I'm not, I don't have a crew, I don't have friends nearby who... 
I grew up with, who literally are not talking to me right now, who can edit all this stuff. Like every other YouTuber, Mark, Player, and Jack, and all of the, and Matt Pat, they all have friends who they get along with and they still talk to, and new friends who are camera people, have lighting, and also can do vlogs, but also edit properly. Even people who are non professional vloggers or freaking non professional YouTubers, they know how to edit much more than I do. And I'm just, well, I'm in college, about to turn 19 in two weeks, and I still don't know how to edit anything. I don't know as much editing software as possible, guys. Don't, don't worry about me. But, um, yeah, okay, that's something we don't need to know about. But still, like, um, this stuff really calms me down. And it, that was almost, like, four years ago, but still, like, this game still calms me down. It still relaxes people, and I'm glad I got these mods and like these cool looking custom content stuff. But most of all, I know I've been like playing Sims 4 a long time, guys, and you guys have been waiting for the next Sims 4 video. Like, oh my gosh. But I'm still down at 31 subscribers. Like, that's ridiculous, guys. There's no way nobody on the internet is watching no Sims 4 video. And I tried everything. I've tried like spreading the news about my stuff but nobody's taken my poll and if i look on twitter right now nobody's done my poll still like that's ridiculous but yeah i'm just venting because i'm just so upset right now like nobody's looking taking my poll nobody's looking at my youtube channel that's just annoying okay we're done and like um Just dress up. And we're gonna have you come downstairs and eat something since Cassandra hasn't eaten a thing. And, um, Sergio, you can wake up now. Because I don't want Sergio to think like she's cheating all the stuff. I know I had the jealousy trade off. But, yeah. Like, that was just my complaint for the day. Like, I just have these, these morning like inventing stages. And, like, um, like, I just don't like that. And I just hate it. And again, guys, can't censor this out because I don't, I'm not professional here. Not a professional YouTuber. Again, not at all professional. So, I don't know what you guys want from me. Can't really do anything professional like. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what to do with um, Alexander and, uh,. I don't know about to do with them, but I don't know. I don't know what to do. What you guys think that's professional? Like, if it's not good or it's not edited perfectly enough, like it won't be people will want to watch it. I don't know what. I all I know is I got two copyrights that I just can't stand from Universal Studios, and I can't stand from other copyright people who just think that flagging my videos is gonna make me even more of a pisser offer. But yeah. Like, I'm not a professional editing crew, and I don't have an editing crew like everybody else. And if I had YouTuber friends, I would know, but no YouTuber would ever respond to me since they got tons of fans to worry about, and they don't really pay attention to me. And if my channel was bigger, and bigger than ever, then you guys probably would, like, come to my channel. But I try my best to, like, get enough subscribers and enough people to come to my channel. I'm not lying, but... Other than that, I really haven't been spreading my channel much. And besides, there are multiple people who are my age who literally are YouTubers. And they literally know how to edit stuff and like how to just swap to videos and different stuff like that. And they literally don't, they know what they're doing. <laughs> That's it, I'm a, it's official, I'm a dummy and I don't know what I'm doing. Not guys. I don't hurt my feelings anymore. Anyway, um, let's get back to the story since I, I literally have so much more to vent about, but I seriously doubt that venting is going to give me any more. We're just going to skip ahead to the rest of the story, guys, and um, Sergio is officially going to knock up our dear beloved Cassandra, and what he's going to do is he's going to officially leave the household. So, yeah. Today we're just going to, like, um, 
I know I said I was gonna like do the whole like Sim Force story arc of like Cassandra, like how she literally, how Cassandra is over the town, and how she slept with so many guys. I mean, if I had this butt, this look, I would totally be getting all the guys. But frankly, I don't, because I'm not a beautiful, beautiful white girl. I'm not trying to be racist, but it's right. White girls are beautiful than, than me, and I know that because I've been jealous all my life of their beauty. Oh, why are people so much beautiful than I? Okay. First of all, use, and then we are going to, like, if this doesn't work, guys, again. That wasn't what I was going for. Okay, so pregnancy chances. Now, we're not going to do the menstrual cycle because that would be ridiculous. So, um, the pregnancy chance will be 100%. And, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to do that. And also, while that's going on, We're going to have Candy be invited over, and we're actually going to have, like, her move in. <laughs> and Sergio is going to, like, be a deadbeat dad and hate Cassandra because he kind of is going to tell her that she loves Sergio, but he never loved her because he was an ass. And, yeah. Like I said, Sergio is totally an ass right now. I kind of I have all these like traits of like what happens when um Cassandra and um Which wants child? Anyway, um, I have all these like um choices for like Cassandra and Sergio, and I want Sergio, I want Cassandra to like have a happy life with Sergio, but it's just not gonna happen, guys. And I know like if I was being monetized, like this would be demonization like standards, but unfortunately, I'm not pastel Sims, so I don't really so really YouTube doesn't care about me right now. So, yeah, we're gonna get Cassandra knocked up. And Alexander and Candy, oh, Candy's already here. We're gonna ask Candy to move in. And Sergio is going to move out. We're gonna ask Candy to move in with him. So, Candy's gonna move in, and officially, Candy will eventually die. I don't know how, because my extreme, extreme, extreme violence mod is down but officially she'll probably try and kill herself or maybe we'll have this little black black bride thing come out i have this haunted mirror thing and it's probably going to happen but then again guys like that's just weird i was trying to the only reason i didn't want to go out of the house because i was trying to avoid the loading screen god knows this takes forever so yeah. but if you don't just don't know why i'm not recording as much because i've been working finishing up finals all that stuff and like doing other things with my mom. But most of all, guys, I just wanted to say that happy that you guys are still with me and that I haven't lost any subscribers in the past, but recording is much better than like not doing it. And I'm enjoying a milkshake while doing this. Well, what's left is a milkshake. Hmm. So, tell me guys in the comment section what you want me to theorize on. Because I will do that Avengers theory that I have for Avengers Infinity War and I will do it.
maybe later this evening because I don't have class. I didn't have class today, so yay! And I really forgot. Like Candy, actually, the sister. Anyway, um... I'll come back to the managing, like, um, stuff. I won't have Sergio, like, um, move in with, uh, other people, but I'll have him go back to his original household eventually. And, um, as soon as Candy, Cassandra just found out that she's pregnant, that, um, Sergio, I'll have Sergio, like, leave, and Candy will help take care of, like, um, Candy, because Cassandra will eventually, maybe I'll have Candy die, and, um, Cassandra and her brother will look after her baby together. And eventually the whole goth family household will be dead. And Mormor Goth has been dead for a while. And also, um, that's like, um, off somewhere with Sergio and having his babies. And so she's like his little sex slave and being used and abused by her own will. So, yeah, you can see why that is not going to be the easiest of tasks. So, Bella is off somewhere doing something with Sergio that she doesn't even know about. And um, Sergio is about to give Cassandra his firstborn child, which will eventually cause said child to find out that her uncle, who is in love with her, his, her mother, his or her mother, hopefully it's a girl, Sergio has been known to give us two children, so hopefully it's just one kid and not a hundred. <laughs> anyway, um, while this is loading up, I just hope that, um, well, I know is that Alex is going to be the last one in the household to, like, die, or she will be killed by one of the people, because I don't know how... Jumping off roofs. I've seen people in like Sims 2 videos, like they've been jumping off the roof and like killing themselves in The Sims. And, like, who knows? Maybe Cassandra will die in a fire. Who knows? Um, there are many ways to kill off your Sims in this Sims game before it. But like, taken off or it's still there but changed. But many of them are still together. Like dying from laughter. Like some people have died from laughter. That's the Joker. But really, um, I know it's wrong for Candy to have left her baby behind, but she's going to die anyway. And most of all, I just realized nobody here has a job, but who cares? Because the Goths are rich. So, yeah. Um, well, rich is in... Okay, so while that was happening, the the whole thing glitched out. What is looked at this? No, we're not gonna have Cassandra come into contact with Bella. And Candy has work. Yeah, I knew it. Yuki's is her sister. And I guess teens now can, like, um... Did 
That reminds me, did they have any mail? So we're going to have a friend over here and use the bathroom while candy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cassandra Goff might not be might not, might not be pregnant. So yay! Cassandra will become pregnant. I want her to become pregnant because like 100% means like she'll be completely fertile. Okay. So Candy's not going to have any kids because she already had one with Sergio. And of course she wants to get engaged to Alexander. I don't know how the marriage thing works. I'm going to find the marriage cheat in here and I will do that. But right now I'm just going to have like Candy come over here and nap and like um um wrong fishing my dear friend anyway um And really, I know you guys, like, say, like, oh, just do it the other, the other way, like, it'll be much better, yay, okay. But right now, I'm just gonna, like, have, um, Alexander, I guess, handy see down here, because I'm not getting, like, like any like flag strikes or anything like that from anybody so yeah okay candy wake up gonna have like them just teasing each other was the difference. Anyway, um, Now everyone's having a little fun. Anyway, um, dear friend, what are you doing? I know it's wrong to like do this, but I'm just speeding through it so that we can just get to the pregnancy part. Rest up, my friend. And, okay, I wasn't planning on getting Candy pregnant, and I'm not planning on getting her knocked up anytime soon. So, yeah. Alexander, don't even think about it. Anyway, um, I just realized that, um, I just now realized that um, she and him already did have some time alone, you guys. So, yeah, let's just see if Cassandra will end up knocked up. 
most of all, I know it takes like a day or two for them to get like knocked up and all that stuff. But um now we're gonna have Sergio come down here and serve dinner. And he's gonna kick some chicken stir fry. No, I know Candy and like, um, Okay, so Alexander, sorry guys, I was looking at something on my phone. Um, so Alexander is... So I'm going to look up the... Uh... No spoilers. Okay. Sorry guys, Sims died to get to slash sim under slash ID under slash by under slash name. I know I said I was gonna just like change their names. And I will like shorten Alexander's goth Alexander Goth name to Alex. So, I'm just gonna like, move this.
Ugh. Well, it looks like I won't be able to do that. So, um... Ugh. I have to, like, um, move the... Okay, so can't move that and don't know the ID number, so yay. Okay, um, I get the ID number because this thing's in the way, the exploit gangcaster thing's in the way, so I can't get the ID number. Oh, great. Um, So I can't make them husband and wife right now, so that's a big deal, and it's... And I realized it didn't just pause the game, so dang it. Why do you have your clothes off, Sergio? Put your damn clothes on. Ugh. Idiot. Okay, come on. Okay, enough chit chatter. Come eat. And yes. Like, I know I said I was going to do, like, um, other stuff, guys, and I really... I really want to do other stuff in the game, like, like, go out and do all this fun stuff. But I won't be able to do that right now with the game caster thing in the way. So I'll have to do that, like, on my own time before I, like, open up the game to game thing. Wow, everybody's sitting at the table, except for Sergio, who literally needs to put on his clothes. Thank you. So, yay. Okay, so, Candy, I'm going to have to terminate your pregnancy, and Cassandra, no. So, Sergio and Candy are in... Cassandra's going to find out she's pregnant, and Sergio's going to get so mad that he's going to want to leave her. And eventually, and eventually he will. So, yay. See what I mean by YouTubers uploading every single day like Markiplier? Do they have to upload every day when they can just not take a break? I mean, it's almost summer, so yeah. So, let's see if Cassandra is pregnant. So, um, what we're gonna do is have her- I know she just slept! What in the world? Okay, so first we're gonna have her come here, take a pregnancy test, then she's gonna take a shower because she's all covered in- <clears throat> nice looking stuff but then again and candy we're going to find out if you're knocked up as well so yeah i know i said i was going to knock her out but they just started to have no don't use it nope what am i doing Okay, after they eat, she's, they're going to go find out if they're knocked up or not. If they're not, we're going to keep trying until they do. So, yeah. One of them will be pregnant. So, yay. And...
Let's see if Candy's not if she's 100% pregnant. So yeah, yeah, Candy. Sorry, but um, I know we want Alexander to have a kid. So yeah, but we're gonna have her terminate her pregnancy. I'm sorry, Candy, but it's not gonna happen. I'm sorry, but you already have a kid. So yeah, um, and Cassandra's gonna go find out if she's pregnant. So yay, she's pregnant. So yeah. Oh, and she threw up. Okay. I'm sorry, but Candy's pregnancy has to be terminated and Sorry, that's just not gonna happen. We're gonna have we're gonna have like um since Sergio doesn't know about Cassandra's little pregnancy right now. We're gonna have her. Sorry, guys. Really? We're gonna have him kiss her, and then she's gonna tell him the big news. He's not gonna be happy about it, because he's got too many kids to count already. So, yeah. Oh, I forgot. Cassandra has to take a shower. So, yeah. Um, Sorry, Candy, but you can't have kids right now. Um, okay, after the kiss comes Sandra telling him about the pregnancy, to share the big news, and Sergio's not going to be happy about it. In fact, he's going to be uprighteously upset. Where's the main action? Because he's not really happy about um, becoming a father. Oh, I didn't know this option would happen. Um, pregnancy termination will leave some people sad and cry it out, but also, like, don't. I know, like, get abortions not what people actually want in life. And, yeah. Like, Sergio is going to keep being mad at Cassandra. I know they're trying to, like, reconcile and, like, kiss and all that stuff. But I don't want, I want her to, like, transform him into something, like, horrible. That's my phone. Stop. And I'm not gonna have him chainsaw her, like, while she's pregnant. That's ridiculous. So, what's gonna happen is... He's going to insult her. Like, he's gonna continue being mean, guys. I'm sorry, but... This is how this, this, is how this whole story thing's gonna go out. He's gonna, like, give her... Like, say that she's a whore and all that stuff. And like, oh, you're such a bad person. I hate you so much. He's going to keep yelling at her. Now, they will apologize in bed. I will have that. Whenever that, like, um... And I'm going to while there's a llama. Well, uh, if you're forgetting something. And the best thing just happened. Because Cassandra literally just got sick. So, yeah. That little sparks on her. Yeah, that, that means that she's sick. But she's also pregnant. So, yay. She's 
she's very playful, but also she's kind of sick. Yeah, they're going to continue arguing, guys. This is why I'm so silent, because I'm just letting it play out. I just want them to start yelling at each other. And, like, um, like I said, they're going to keep arguing until, like, this becomes a very unpleasant conversation. And then one of them starts fighting with the other, and then the other one kicks the other one's butt. And Cassandra's going to try to beg forgiveness, because she still, she loves... Sergio and like thinks he's her love interest and that he loves her for who she is. Um, enemies and She's getting so mad that she just can't stand him and is, like, upset that he's actually saying all these mean things to her and, like, they're just not going to get along. And now they're just so mad at each other. It's like Christian Grey in Fifty Shades Free where he just yells at Anastasia for no reason just for her getting knocked up. And they can't help it. I mean, they have sleep all together all the time and like... Like, I don't know if, like, sims who are, like, pregnant can fight and all that stuff. Okay, so Candy is asleep, and so is Alexander. And... I don't want her to be very playful, because, like, like I said, like... Being very playful, like, gets them to start being laughing to death, and I don't want that. Okay, I'm gonna have them find some common ground, at least. Because... I'm leaving. Like... First, I'm gonna have a mocker outfit, and then... I'm gonna officially find them have some common ground. And then I'm going to kick Sergio out because he's going to officially leave her and he's going to be like. But first he's going to break up with her because she doesn't even love him. He doesn't even love her. And
I can get that breakup option. And I see why Candy is so upset, because she had to give up her baby, and, like, like, I know she's not pretty happy about it. Man, Luna, I almost forgot about Luna. Why did I forget about her? Then it was the girl that we actually had to sleep with, that we, like, like, like on, and, like... Let's give her a hug, because she needs one. Okay, first we're going to save and go to Manage Worlds. What we're going to do is we're going to... We're going to go to Manage Worlds, and... Still no one who voted in my polls, so yay! But, um... Okay, so we're just going to go straight We're gonna go and like, we're gonna get Sergio to get kicked out of his own home. So, yeah. We're gonna kick Sergio out of the house, and Candy and Cassandra's gonna end up like knocked up, and yeah. Well, Cassandra's actually already knocked up, so she's gonna like, so we're gonna like, um, get her to, um, pop a little early. So. I know I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm doing it anyway because I want to. Where did I see the pregnancy? I'm gonna kick him out. Wait, no, 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 that's the rock thing. He was in um Windenburg, so yeah. Yeah, like I said, lots and lots of kids. Okay, let's go back to Willow Creek. Okay. 
And we're going to go back to our family. Parents, my butt. This actually does work. So I don't know how Pastel Sims does this, like MC command and all that stuff, but I'm gonna try do it like I'm gonna try to do it with the Sims dot at underscore bus. I'm gonna make Cassandra go out to go into labor. I know it's wrong to like do that and all that stuff, but um Let's just hope this child is either a girl or a boy, because I don't want, like, Sandra to, like... I just don't want her to, like, be alone. Okay, so the rest of the story... We're just gonna keep going with uh what we have now. Sergio's gone, he's got he's got out, and Cassandra is knocked up with her first child. And we're gonna take off first of all, we're gonna take off the pregnancy settings so that Candy doesn't get knocked up again. And um Okay, this loading screen would keep going. For most of all, guys, I'm just thankful I don't have to go to school today. Yes! And I can just record videos and watch videos and a movie if I want to, but I will. And also, somebody liked me on my Instagram. Okay, so we're back. Sergio is gone. He's out. We don't have to deal with him again. Okay, buff under slash. Okay, so there we have it. No, I don't want to have the baby right here. So, okay. It's a girl, yay. No, not Monica. And I would have actually done a pull, but um. Corinne sounds like a good name.
Korean golf. That's fine. Okay, so EA. Um, we've had a girl, Corinne. God, as I was hoping, I was hoping it was a girl. So EA. Um, let's go into build mode, and we're gonna move the crib over here. So Cassandra has a little girl now, and officially. I can't get the marriage cheat right now, guys, so, because my whole, like, recording thing's in the little way, so, yay. But, um, now that we have a girl and her relationship with Sergio is out of line, and really, Cassandra is not liked by anybody. We're just going to have, um, it's gonna probably die of depression. We're not gonna like have him. We're not gonna have her die just yet. Um, we're gonna have Candy die instant death. Getting hungry? No, mom. Uh, yeah, I die by being mortified. Again, cannot edit my mom out because she just can't stop trying to bother me. Okay, so yeah. Can't like it, like die immediately. Uh, what is up with my mouse? What about my mouse? Change dirty diaper and bottle feed. Thank you. Anyway, um, instead of that, let's just add this. Let's under slash buff. There. I just want Candy like to die. I don't. I know there's a probably a depression one where you can die of depression. Stop it, mouse. Like I said, Candy's sad from being, like, 
freaking depressed over losing her over termination of her child. But guess what? She's going to end up pregnant again. But this time we're not we're gonna make sure she doesn't have any kids. Cause she's already had a kid by um She's gonna die with Alexander's kid and her baby. And her tummy. So yeah. Okay. So, yeah. First, Alexander is going to take care of the baby, and then, bam. And we're going to make sure she doesn't eat a thing for the next 23 hours. Because I want Candy to not have any babies or anything like that. I don't want her to, like, have a baby and then just die. So we're going to have her and Alexander, like, have some missionary together. Oh, I, I forgot. Oh, I wanted to turn, like, Sergio into something more. So we just have 23 left for eyes of exertion and all that stuff. And like, first we're gonna get her like pregnant all the way continually. Just gonna let them have some other fun until like they just decide to end it. Eventually, we're going to age of Korea and all that stuff. But, um, as of right now, we're just going to let, like, uh, Corinne stay a baby. Her mother's going to die. Uh, Corinne's mother, Cassandra's going to die when she's just a baby and doesn't even know who she is. And officially, I'm not going to let her get married. But until that day comes, like, I will do the cheat. Well, like, um,.
Oops, sorry. Okay, guys. I wonder why I'm being so quiet, because I'm letting things play out again, like I said. Letting things just play out. Thank you, Bella. That usually doesn't happen. I don't know where that mod came that part of the mod came from, but uh yeah. So Candy is slowly dying to death in her sleep, so that's new. Okay, um, Wow, that was quick. Anyway, um... Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna... No, my mouse is acting up. Okay, first of all, we're gonna have since Alexander is just basically the the father and all that stuff. Now, never get some water. Actually, no. Okay, Cassandra slept long enough for baby to sleep. So we can click out again and get a Siri Joe because that's never going to happen. I'm going to add it at 80%. See if that makes a difference.
So, I know this is weird in most places, but, um... I know this is weird, like, your sister, like, liking your brother and all that stuff, but it's not weird at all. I have seen some movies, guys, where, like, the brother is all obsessed with his sister, he's in love with his sister so much that he just is infatuated with her, that he loves her so much that he wants to marry her. I've seen that happen in other, like, really creepy horror movies and all that stuff. But with this, like, I'm not trying to go for the creepy horror standards and all that stuff. But, um... Okay, this is happening. We are going to take the sex down from pregnancy chance. Chance of getting pregnant now. Now, I know it's weird, like, you like, um, Alexander liking his sister, but these two have been, like, through hell together and back, so I would expect them to, like, have, like, a romantic, like, thing for each other. So, don't think that's weird or anything, guys. You all can think whatever you want, like, it's weird on this stuff. But... To me, it's weird. I'm trying to keep, like, um, Candy in the bed. I know she's pregnant and all, like... I don't know if it works in The Sims, like, it didn't for Sims too. like, Sims, like, couldn't get pregnant and all that stuff, like, if they got pregnant. Like, this is new. Like, the woo on spot stuff, that's just weird. And, um... Oh, babies just keep crying and crying. I know it's, like, not weird at all. Like, breastfeeding all that stuff, that's not weird. But what really is the weirdest thing ever is that, um...
like just a few minutes ago. She was like upset. Well, I know we're trying to kill off candy and all that stuff. Like it's taking forever. I know that. And also, if you look, like the window looks like it's lightning out there. So yeah. And I can see why Candy will look beautiful. I mean, look at that. She looks so beautiful. And yeah, she's thinking of her baby and all that stuff. Like, I know it's a shame killing off Candy while she's pregnant and all that stuff. I'm like, that's just bad. I don't know if she's going to die if she's pregnant right now. But if she isn't, like, she shouldn't die, like, when she's, like, pregnant. That, that's going to be a waste of time. But, yeah, I can see why and all that stuff. Well, that's happening. Two brother and sisters are like, doing what they want. And you guys say whatever you want. Like, it's, like, bad and all that stuff. Okay, four more hours. Let's just see what happens. If Candy does start to death when she's pregnant, then that's going to be weird. But if she doesn't, like, that's probably going to be normal. Like, who would want to kill off a pregnancy while they're, like, So let's just see what happens. Really? The baby has to cry right now? Oh, they were already finished. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna finish, wrap, I'm gonna wrap, 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 wrap. I know I've been quiet, like, 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 like she's, we're probably wondering, like, why is she so quiet right now? It's because I'm trying to let it all play out, guy, and, like, I'm used to, like, playing Sims quietly, so I'm sorry if I was too quiet and I'm not losing, like, the talkative YouTubers you're used to, but I'm just trying to, like, wrap the episode. We're gonna see if we kill off Candy in this episode, and if we kill off Candy while she's knocked up, uh, first of all, it seems for you're kind of messed up for doing that. But I just want to make like sure Candy like just dies. Okay, so let's see if Candy does die in this episode. Okay, so yeah. One hour left. God, this baby doesn't stop crying. Ugh. I love babies. Don't get me wrong. Love them, love them, love them to death. Okay. But they just get on my nerves at the time. I mean, like, I've, I, I grew up for seven... I watched babies for, like, seven years and a half. Seven and a half years. So I should know. Let's just see if Candy dies. If she doesn't die, that, that's fine. Like, I can just terminate the pregnancy and, like, she just dies. And, like, um, I'll just kill her off again. Another episode. So, 25 minutes left. Let's go by faster, you guys. Let's see. Maybe it's because she has a baby in her belly. Like, you can't kill off babies because they're unborn yet. Okay, 8 minutes left. 7 minutes. 6 minutes. Five, four, three, two, hold on. Oh. 
Oh, this is in person. Four minutes, okay. Yeah, like I wouldn't have been surprised if she just got killed off because So we're gonna terminate her pregnancy. I'm sorry, Candy, but apparently you can have a kid and you can't die. So yeah. I waited twenty four hours just for her to die immediately. Okay, so that's out of the question. So I'm just I'm gonna end the episode here and like um I guess I gave her something. So um yeah, we're going to try and kill off As soon as Candy comes back, I'm going to try and kill her off. And then we're going to like end the episode there and like um Like, Mortify is taking forever. So, we're just gonna kill her off again. This time, she's not gonna die. She's gonna die permanently. And, um, I hope you guys, like, um, uh, maybe we'll see Candy as a ghost. Who knows? Um, also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, guys. Please do. So let's just get Candy to, um, go back to sleep like everybody else did at the end of the last episode. So we, we made a lot of progress today, guys. We got, we kicked out Sir, we got Cassandra pregnant, we got, she had a baby girl like I wanted her to have, and Cassandra is in love with her brother still. Sergio, we kicked Sergio out. We officially had a baby girl, and Cassandra, we're going to try to kill Candy in the next episode. And when that happens, hopefully it'll be better. So, yeah. I probably won't do a thumbnail because, like, oh man, this is annoying. And it's hot right now, guys. So, um, right now, we'll try to kill Candy in the next episode, and then probably Cassandra later on. And after that, we'll, we'll have Alexander just have normal, like, He's not going to fall for his knees. Like, that's going to be weird. So Alexander is going to use the bathroom first. And then we're going to end the episode here. Change the diaper. As soon as he's, like, finished with the toilet, he's going to, like, go feed the baby or do it now. No, you're not going to eat anything. Oh, 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 wait, guys, wait. Katie's gonna die for embarrassment.
Oh, I guess we're not gonna. gonna, 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 gonna we're gonna end it up when after the Grim Reaper dies, cause I can't like. See me, I could have just... Okay, so Candy just officially died. Okay, so I'm guessing we don't want to freaking hug. Okay, guys, so, well, I guess that's it then. Let's save the game ads. I cannot believe Candy just died right in front of us, too. Okay, so let's save the game and then we're gonna I'm gonna exit the game. So yeah, that was unexpected, guys. So ooh, I didn't expect Kenny to just die of mortification because I thought it was gonna take forever. Well, I guess that's the end of that. So um I'm gonna end the episode here. I don't know how long this episode actually was. 95 minutes long, okay. So um basically a whole hour. So I'm gonna end the episode here since it stopped saving. And I like for you to like and subscribe and to see more. And I'll play more Sims 4, guys. I will continue the story and then continue on from there after Cassandra and Alexander's death. And like, I uh, will eventually die. Can't Cassandra's actually dying from an illness right now, I think. So, yeah. Well, eventually, I'm gonna marry these off these two off screen. So yeah, I'll marry these. I'm gonna get the cheating to marry these two off, and who knows? Maybe Cassandra will. Um, maybe I'll get her done from an illness, or she'll die by this thing, the haunted mirror with the chant the bride's name thing. Okay. So I'm going to end the episode right here, and I will hopefully see you guys in the next video. Bye. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Oh, and um, if you, whatever you want me to theorize, guys, on oh, whatever you want me, whatever you guys want me to theorize on, I will theorize it. Okay. So.
Come on, stop. Come on. Stop recording. <sighs>